What's going on you guys? So the other day I was down at my local film lab picking up some film and I decided to kind of change things up a little bit. Now 95% of the time, maybe even more, I'm primarily shooting color film. Uh, it's what I'm most comfortable with. Uh, it's, it's just, it's my favorite. Since I was kind of wanting to change it up a little bit, I decided to pick up some black and white film. I grabbed a roll of Ilford HP5 and uh, honestly, it was my first time shooting it. I don't have a lot of experience with black and white. I have shot black and white before in the past, but really not a lot of experience with it at all. So I loaded my X700 up and I just kind of aimlessly set out to get some random photos. I wasn't really sure what I was gonna get. One thing I knew for sure that I wanted to do is I just wanted to change up how I saw the world. That's one thing I do love about black and white compared to color is that the way you compose photos and the way that you, you make a photo is just so much different and the way that you have to see things is you're just you're looking for different things. Now with color film, certain colors in the scene might pop out and that might be primarily what you know the focus of the image is, but with black and white a lot of the times you're gonna have to rely on you know shape, texture, light, all that kind of stuff. Now this first set of photos is definitely what I'd consider the warm-up set of photos. Um, none of these really particularly stood out too much to me and I was just kind of getting in the flow of things. I do really like the shot of the A-frame though. Um, just the framing and, and just the way it all kind of pops, I, I do like that a lot. Now as the day started to roll on, I really started making photos that I was happy with. Now these photos I took at the end of the day really are some of my favorites. I love the shots looking up at the buildings, especially this first one. I was really focused on the pattern of the building, just all the different tonalities between it. I also really love this shot looking up at the building with the two points. I just love the symmetry that those points have. They're kind of perfectly in a third of the frame. And I just, I don't know, I just like how it came out. <laughs> now as I was walking back to my car at the end of the day, I realized that I accidentally had my camera set to 800 ISO, not 400. Um, but honestly, I didn't freak out that much. I just was like, oh, I guess I'll just let my lab know that I want them to push it to stop and we'll just see how it turns out. And honestly, it turned out great. I, I mean, I know people push it. HP5 even further than that. Sometimes people will even push it to like 3200 ISO or 1600, but for what I could tell, I really liked it and it didn't, you know, the grain wasn't crazy or anything like that. Now overall, honestly, I had a really, really good time shooting black and white. I loved the way it challenged me. Uh, it made me think, you know, just in a totally different way. It made me think outside of the box. It's just totally different from shooting color. I mean, it, so it was great for me. I feel like it was a great exercise. And also I'll probably just start shooting black and white a little more often. Um, like I said, I really enjoyed it, and for certain applications, I really do think it's better, you know, than, than color, and it's just different. All right, now that's pretty much it for this video, you guys. I know it's a little bit shorter, and I promise I'll be doing some longer, a um, little more in-depth videos coming up here in the future, but if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you drop it a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.